Dr. Paul here. We're going to take a look at a giant wart and how to manage it in the office. Let's take a look. So, how you doing, buddy? Good. All right. Wow. What, how long has this been here? Couple months. For a couple months? It looks like you might have tried doing some things. Yeah. What have you tried so far? Well, tried compound W and also mom soaked it in some salt water. Okay. Well, um, that's a that's a good one. About a half an inch wide. It's raised two or three millimeters. And so what we're gonna do is put some numbing cream on that. So that uh Hopefully it won't hurt so bad. And then we're gonna freeze it. So this here is lidocaine and prilocaine. Uh, the brand name is Emla, this is the generic. And I'm just gonna put, because of the nature of that wart being so big, we gotta get it around. Because what we're gonna do is freeze a little bit of your normal skin. And this will help it not hurt quite so bad. So we're just gonna leave that alone for 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna freeze it off. Well, off isn't quite the right word. We're gonna freeze it, and then it will just sort of melt away over the next three to four weeks. All right, yay. That's yay. Really okay, delicious. and we'll be back in 15, 20 minutes. Okay. All right, super. All right. Let's see if that Emla has done anything. Let's see here. Ooh, that is looking good. You know, it's really hard to tell till I wipe it off. We're gonna go get our liquid nitrogen and then we'll come back and take a look at this and freeze it. All right. Liquid nitrogen is stored in a special container because it is so close to the vapor point that it will evaporate. The only use for styrofoam in the world is to put liquid nitrogen in it. Otherwise, this stuff should be banned. All right. So this is our container. We've got our little ladle and we're just going down into the liquid nitrogen. And we come up with it and pour it into our container. All right, off we go. Okie doke. Well, uh, you said you like pain, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the door in case you start screaming too loud. All right, hopefully it won't hurt too bad. So um, what I do here, if you wanna look at this little Q-tip here, is I loosen this up because we want to be able to hold enough of the liquid nitrogen in the end of the Q-tip. So you kinda of loosen that up and then it'll hold a lot more. I'm gonna just get a Kleenex that's uh, not too high tech here to wipe off all this, I'll wipe off all that. Uh, you know, it's a little kind of pale around the edges. I don't know if we got it all that frozen. Now, the top of your wart is just a big old scab. So I don't think you're gonna feel anything at first. You feeling um, anything yet? No. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but my eyes are watering. <laughs> oh, you're, just the thought of it, probably. So, what the liquid nitrogen does is it's so cold that it freezes the entire wart, which is a virus. And our goal is to freeze deep enough that we get a little bit of normal tissue. Because you know your normal skin, like you can see the red skin around your wart. Yeah. Uh, that has blood flow. And if we can get your red skin irritated, it brings more blood flow. You're starting to feel it? Yeah, it's yep. freezing, but freezing it's not cold. stinging like I remember. Okay, so we're going to freeze some of your normal skin to, so it's frozen white like an ice cube. And then when it thaws, it's going to be blood rushes into the area and your immune system actually interacts with that is really cold. the virus that's there. It's like falling face for it's the it's like the feeling that you feel on your face when you like fall into thick snow times 10 times 10 <laughs> yeah cold. yeah it's definitely you can start to see we're getting about a millimeter rim of white frozen normal tissue and that's usually your goal because the some some of these warts go a little bit deep into your skin yeah and we're trying to freeze right down to some people call it the root of the wart um, so we're getting that little rim of, of uh, freezing. You're doing really well. Yeah. Um, 
I have frozen oh, family members of mine, and they were yelping by this time, <laughs> like like really screaming loud. Yeah. You're still smiling. You know what? Yeah, sometimes I smile when it when hurts. You, when you're hurting? Helps. That's what I do, and I get in trouble from my wife. She says to your, oh, I'm, Paul, I'm trying to be serious, and I'm laughing, you know, it's like, isn't that crazy? Oh, but cool. I, it's too serious to take serious. Oh, that's okay. so cool. It feels like it's numbing. Is it numbing? From it. Are, are you about had it? Are you about done with me? It's like... He's saying, oh gosh, it doesn't like, stick, it's just really it's like, cold. Yeah, it's like it's sticking like, your face in an ice box. I'm going to just go around the edges, I think, because this one is just so thick. So I'm just going to very quickly go around the edges. This part would probably hurt the most. Because we're going to get a little bit of normal tissue around the edges. You know, some people will shave off a little bit of the wart first, but I, I know you had tried that, so I thought we would do this first. We're going to have you come back in a month all right okay. now i think you're good so i'm gonna let you before it all evaporates you get to uh, drop this on the floor just just pour it on the floor it's kind of fun oh Whoa. that's cool huh? all right so it's that's like a shockwave and explosion that's the only it's reward you get for letting me torture you is uh, <laughs> drop this picking yeah. it with your ninjas okay. <laughs> give me five that was awesome you did a great job Burr. yeah yeah last time we now, did it, i was like okay. it still hurts bad right it doesn't hurt that Not too much. Bad. Okay. No. Usually at this pinch. point it still throbs for about 10 minutes and then the worst of the pain will be gone but it's going to ache for a day or two. You can yeah. start to see it's already getting redder and that's now as it's thawing uh, your blood flow is going to the area and that's a good thing. Okay, okay. so don't worry about that. One <laughs> rare side effect of a deep freeze like this is you can actually get a blood blister underneath the wart. So if you happen to, to get a blood blister, that's okay. Because that actually means you've got blood flow to the area and it almost always goes away if you get a blood blister. So one thing I was noticing about this wart is it's so raised that it would be hard to get your shoe on. Yeah. So if you buy a moleskin a donut shaped little um, pad that's gonna go over that so that the wart itself is in the hole, you can put the pressure around the wart and you might be able to get your shoes on. So that can be helpful. That's really helpful. Sometimes these are on the bottom of your foot and it's painful to walk. So you can get the pressure spread around on the outside. So folks, uh, that's how we freeze a wart using liquid nitrogen, a simple Q-tip and some liquid nitrogen. And you do this again in three to four weeks if it's not gone completely. One treatment will get it about 50% of the time. It just sort of shrinks, 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 and then it disappears. It doesn't drop off or fall off. It just sort of shrinks away. Uh, I'd say occasionally you need to do two or three treatments, but that's how you would do an in-office treatment with liquid nitrogen. I'm Dr. Paul. Thanks for watching. All right. Yeah. Super.